The Bible records that Joseph gave grain to both the Egyptians and his brothers. When his brothers opened their sacks of grain, there was money on the top. This was his family. You too are the family of God. Your grain is the word of God. Every time you receive the word of God, you also receive a blessing. Here's Pastor Joey with today's edition of Joseph's Sack of Grain. Hi there family, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. What a delight it is to be able to share the word of the Almighty God with you. I know times are tough, but I'm advising you just keep the rules and the Lord will bless you. If you have the opportunity to take the vaccination, just do that. My wife and my family and I, we have been taking that vaccination. But I want to read to you today from Nehemiah chapter 6 and the verse number 1. It happened when Sanballat, Tobiah, Geshem, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies heard that I had rebuilt the wall, that there were no breaks left in it, though at that time I had not hung the doors and the gates, that Sanballat and Geshem sent to me, saying, Come, let us meet together among the villages in the plain of Ono. But they thought to do me harm. So I sent messengers to them, saying, I'm doing a great work, so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease while well, I leave it and go down to you? But they sent this message four times, and I answered them in the same manner. This is the account, my beloved, of the rebuilding of the walls around the city of Jerusalem. The temple had been rebuilt earlier after the destruction, but now Nehemiah is in charge of rebuilding the walls around the city of Jerusalem. These people had returned from exile in Babylon. So here is this guy Nehemiah in charge. But there is opposition to the rebuilding of the walls. Sanballat, Tobiah and Geshem and others, they opposed the people of God. Now the wall is nearing completion. They had worked hard, tirelessly, great effort, nothing spared. Everyone pitched in and made it work. But the Bible tells us the opposition is inviting Nehemiah to a meeting. And they say this, Come, let us meet together among the villages in the plain of Ono. Now, Nehemiah is busy with the walls, almost completing. His people are working. And here's the enemy inviting him. Come and meet us. His reply is very swift. Nehemiah's reply is right to the point. He said, I sent messengers to them saying, I'm doing a great work so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease while I leave the, leave the work and go down to you? I love it. No dialogue. Simply I can't come. No discussion. No debate. I'm not coming. No story. Plain, simple. I can't come. I am too busy. Nehemiah, my beloved, knew his assignment. He says, I am doing a great work. God gave this work to me. I must finish it. The people are depending on me. Everyone is looking up to me. I can't leave this and come to you. You know, we are very much like Nehemiah. Each one of us has his own assignment. You have an assignment for your work whatever your vocation is. You have a family assignment, and you know that very well. You have a business assignment. That is your assignment. You have your kingdom assignment. You have your vocational assignment. Whatever it is, your, 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 your study or whatever it is you're doing, you've got your assignment. You have specific assignments. All of these are God-given assignments. But you see, you will constantly be bombarded by other calls like Sanballat, Tobiah, Geshem. You will have calls. They'll say, come on, leave your assignment and come to us. Many of these calls will sound attractive. They'll be flamboyant. They will be exciting. But my word to you is stick to your own assignment your work assignment, your family assignment, your career, your business assignment, your kingdom assignment. You see, my beloved, if you fall into the trap of leaving your own assignment, you will constantly be running around to fulfill everybody else's assignment and you will reap what you sow. Your own life and living will be in tatters. 
You know, there are some times you're called to uphold somebody's hands and to lift them up, but that doesn't mean you have to be running there all the time. You know your own work assignment. You know your family assignment. You know your career assignment. You know your business assignment. You know your kingdom assignment. You must be like Nehemiah. A very firm no. Excuse me. Sincere apologies. I can't make it. Those are the words you should be using. You know what? You'll finish the wall. You'll be blessed. God will be pleased with you. God will be pleased with your family. Some people have been running around so much. Their own lives are in tatters. Their own families are in tatters tatters, their own businesses are in tatters, and they have left everything and gone on to others. I am saying to you, be like Nehemiah. I've got my assignment. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to conclude it. I'm trusting that you're going to do that because I know that's the only way it's going to work. Come on, just send a firm no. And the Bible tells us four times the offer came. And four times, Nehemiah did the same thing. Listen, right now when I finish this, somebody's going to call you and call you out of your assignment. Say no. Say once, twice, three times, four times. They'll finally stop. God bless. Have a great day. I'm going to talk to you again shortly. Please tune in to our live streaming of our prayer meeting and Sunday mornings. Peace be with you. Amen.